So here we are playing Warapatangeo, and we're still sticking pretty much with with the form that we've had all along. And now what I'm going to do though is I'm playing it on three drums, so I'm adding another drum all by myself. show you how I, I, I think of playing on three drums and the for me at least the starting point is to keep the first bar and the last bar the same Uh, those are my anchoring points. Let me just play that much with the clave. I get to improvise in the space between and so now I get something like this Now I'm getting to just have fun using the framework that the Chinitos set out, but I keep myself anchored in these spots because of the two clave phrase. I keep myself anchored within the clave, and yet I still have room to open up and, and play um, not just improvisations, but really sort of kind of make up my own flow of how I want that to go, okay? So um, you can divide that up into different ways, playing mainly the form of the low drum and incorporating these two into that, um, or keeping track more of the middle drum and using these drums. You have a lot of different ways that you can go with that. Um, and in the next, next class, I'm gonna get a fourth drum and show you sort of my own little take on all of that, okay? See you at the next class.